Welcome to module 14 of Mechanics of Materials part two. Today's learning outcome is to develop an expression for what we call the angle of twist, phi. And so this is from module 10. We took our circular board torsion, we looked at a small element, we defined the rate of twist as being d phi over dx. And so now, instead of looking at d phi dx for a small element, the total phi for the entire engineering member here that I have shown is phi, the entire length is L, so same relationship. And here's Hooke's law again relating the maximum shear stress to the maximum shear strain using the modulus of rigidity. Um, we know that tau max, we developed the relationship that tau max was equal to the radius times the rate of twist. I can substitute in for tau max. We found uh, that that was equal to in last module the applied torque times the radius over the polar moment of inertia. When I equate these two, uh, it looks like this. I can cross out the R's and I end up with T, the applied torque is equal to G, the modulus of rigidity, times the rate of twist times the polar moment of inertia. And then I can substitute in for the rate of twist here. And when I do that, I get uh, this expression, G, I've substituted in for, for theta, the rate of twist is being phi over L, and I can rearrange that now, and I can determine how much twist the bar is experiencing, phi. And so the angle of twist phi here is equal to TL over JG, or GJ, T is the applied torque, L is the length of the cross-section which we're trying to find the twist for, G is the modulus of rigidity, and J again is the polar uh, moment of inertia. And so that's how we will, in our examples, when we start doing our example problems, find how much our bar or our engineering member has twisted, the angle of twist. And so that's it for this time.